Today, I'm going to share with you three of the most common atrial fibrillation causes. Now, before I begin, down below, I'm giving away a free video-based guide all about shopping for dietary supplements as well as herbal medicines. Now, if you had to guess, what do you think is the most important muscle of the human body? What do you think it is? You might be thinking the, the heart, right? Because without the heart, you know, it can't pump blood to deliver oxygen and nutrients to all these organs. Those organs would die, then you would die. So, yeah, it's pretty important. When someone has atrial fibrillation, or AF for short, uh, the heart beats and pumps too quickly, too fast. And this can be unhealthy for a variety of reasons. Uh, one of the big dangers is that it can contribute to something called a blood clot. So a, a bunch of blood clots up and could stop blood flow. It can be really dangerous if it uh, gets to where the brain region is. Well, yeah, it stops blood from reaching the brain. And you know what that's called? Yeah, stroke. So parts of the brain dies because it's not getting the oxygen and nutrients that the blood delivers to it. Um, other symptoms and dangers of this condition could be like fatigue, it can contribute to heart disease, there could be dizziness, chest pains, and shortness of breath. Now, even though humans, we made some incredible discoveries just recently too on how the body operates, all this wonderful stuff that we we're still discovering, some things still remain a mystery, like this condition, atrial fibrillation, exactly what causes it. It's not still really unknown. Now the good news is is that as a species we do know some of the major risk factors uh, you know when it comes to AF and one of the big big risk factors is heart disease itself. Now according to a study by the American Heart Association when a patient has heart failure it can increase the chance of atrial fibrillation. Now if a patient has mild heart failure, there could be like a 5% chance of them getting this, this health problem, atrial fibrillation. If it's moderate, if it's, if it's like a moderate heart failure, it can increase to maybe like a 10 to 25% chance of them getting AF. And if it's severe, it can even raise as, as much as 50% chance. So there's a big, big link there. Now another big culprit would be high blood pressure. The big danger with high blood pressure is, do you know what it is? The big danger with it, yeah, it's a silent killer. That means that you can have it or I can have it right now. We don't have any symptoms we don't know. It just strikes and kills without a warning. So that's a big danger. And according to Dr. Michael Rosen, who is the, the chief wellness um, officer at the Cle Cleveland Clinic, he, he's also frequently on the Dr. Oz show, that very famous TV show about, about health and medicine on TV. He says that high blood pressure causes changes to the heart's structure that makes it more likely uh, to cause rapid erot erratic heartbeats. Also, some experts feel that unhealthy blood pressure is the single biggest risk factor for atrial fibrillation. So there's a big link there. And the last huge, huge risk factor to this disease is going to be old age. According to the American Heart Association, Age is the single biggest risk factor for atrial fibrillation because when someone gets up there in age, well, it increases the chance of so many problems like heart disease and many other things that can contribute to it. Now, if uh, you want to get some more ideas on, on treating this, this problem and maybe preventing it, you know, dietary supplements, alternative medicine, there's some, there's some great killer ideas on there. They can save money. Uh, it could be more healthier than using drugs out there, and it could do some wonderful things to your body. Okay, and if you're interested in that kind of stuff, I highly recommend you check out this free video guide I created. It does go over tips on shopping for supplements. It goes over alternative medicine. It goes over things like detoxes, your immune system, and and alternative ideas when it comes to health problems. So it's a lot of fun. I had a ton of blast making, and I'm sure you're gonna love it. You're gonna be entertained. You might learn some things. So why not? And it's free. You can learn more by clicking the link uh, below this video. If you have any more thoughts on atrial fibrillation, on causes, treatment, please share them in uh, the comments below. But have you had this condition? If, if so, you know what were your experience were, what were your symptoms? Please share. That's what the uh, YouTube and well, internet's all about: sharing information. And if you like the video, I, I really would appreciate a thumbs up. Uh, that helps me a ton. So uh, have a very enjoyable rest of your day, and bye for now.